Yeah. Yeah. No, I think he's very strong. I mean, I was listening to Tweak's podcast talking about, like, theory crafting with Sora and talking about his opinion of the character. And Tweak is someone who I think understands the game better than, like, pretty much anyone, uh, just, like, uh, on a, in a meta level, like, at a theory crafting level. Yeah. Um, so I regard his opinion highly, uh, and I, I tend to agree, um, with, especially with his opinions on Sora. But uh, DJ Samarin doing a really good job of just holding center stage here and keeping uh, Fletchling off the ground. Look at that. You just can't touch the ground. He's covering everything. All right, finally able to uh, to do something out of shield and get a little bit of footing for himself. <laughs> a little bit of a uh, projectile exchange. But the Nair just going to hold him in spot, in one spot. Well, that's a little bit of movement. This is, I think, um, I definitely think DJ Samarin has put some time into this character. He's moving very well with it, very comfortable um, with Sora's floatiness. Something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but it's just like, I would say that Sora's oddest thing about him is his floatiness. Because uh, he is the floatiest character in the game, I believe. Yeah, man, feels like Mewtwo with the sword. Yeah, you're moving, you're moving through like molasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I think it's so interesting that a game like gravity affects characters differently in this game. I think that's so interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That was really good heads up play from DJ Samarin. How's he going to do this ledge trap? This, bl oh, yo, Blizzaga is. Uh, all three of the moves are really good um, for really different reasons. Um, Blizzaga offstage is fucked up, bro. But Blizzaga offstage, especially, you are right, is fucked up. Speaking of fucked up, Bl uh, Sora down smash. What an yeah, underutilized yeah, move. I need to keep throwing that out more. Like, it hops over things and it breaks shields. It yeah, doesn't. It's, it's it really easy. Like, in two exchanges, you can break someone's shield. It is a shield breaker. I remember someone tried to grab me. Uh, they were winning, and then I down smashed them, and then they weren't winning. <laughs> oh, the snipe! Very clean play from DJ Samarin putting himself, or uh, from Fletchling putting himself solidly in the lead. Gets the grab. DJ Samarin has to watch his shield now. It's pretty low. Can't afford to take too many more hits. Finding some composure. Okay, nice follow up from Fletchling to give himself stage control. It's a lead trap. That move covers so much. You cannot roll. You cannot neutral get up. Oh, no tech, but he should be living. He is Sora, unless he doesn't. Uh, that is game one. And very rare Sora SD. Actually, he did an SD. He was stage spiked, but still. Yeah, you got a tech. They got to be ready for it. Back in the days, you absolutely were. This is true. Kind okay, of like moved your mouse a little bit. Oh, stream has been paused. Yeah, did you minimize uh, OBS? God damn it, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game two. God damn it. Game two. Quick grab. Interesting choice. Um, honestly, in this sp matchup specifically, I feel like the stage pick does not matter all that much. Yeah. Because these characters really are not interacting in a way where the stage is going to make much of a difference. There's a lot of air to air exchanges here.
Yeah. They have but like, I feel like still engaged to some extent. Sora is like an anti zoner because of the way he works. So like I don't think he cares about giving people space because like he can just avoid it with his floatiness, avoid uh all all the shenanigans on the air. So we shall see. We shall see. Uh definitely off to a much better start, DJ Samurai in this game than he did last game. Holding a solid lead. Trying to find the stock. Almost gets the fair F smash. Yo, it's crazy that he has just like melee confirms like that where he could just fair. Like big fair F smash. Yeah. Normally when you see like fair one or nair one into F smash or up smash, those are like really tiny precise hitboxes. No, he's just got a giant sword that he swings in a giant arc. If anywhere on that arc it touches you, you can connect it into F-Smash. Depending on the DI, obviously. It's pretty good. I think personally... Ooh, that was a nice call out. Said, sir, you are not allowed to jump here. But I think that's one of the things that makes him so strong of a character. He's got these, like, just brain-dead easy confirms. Yeah, I mean, it does suck when you get hit by them, because, like, I'll be honest. Whenever I play a set against someone in Sora and I win... I told them outright, like, I was mashing the whole time. I'm allowed to do that. Uh, it's true, but... Uh, I remember Bayonetta. Actually, really good ledge trap into... She's still the, the same. I'm gonna keep it a buck. You gotta watch that. He's Fletchling has been very good at uh, putting uh, DJ Samron in shield stun and grabbing him before he can get out of it. Um, a tick throw, if you will. A tick attack. Uh, a tad of neutral, sir, please. Give Indeed. it to me. Just, just a smidge. Nice, n- nice ledge trap here. And then they're going to take it. Fletchling playing really solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in that time, people like think you're trying something and they get anxious. It's really easy to capitalize. True. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've played. I, I mean, Robin's one of those characters where you don't see a lot of representation, but when you do, some see someone who means Robin. They play Robin like they know there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice juggle with the Levin sword there. That was a cute little tag. Back there, not gonna take the stock quite yet. Yeah, this is rough. And it's rare that you see Sora struggle to kill. Like, wh- ev- all of Sora's hitboxes are, are really strong. Tries to catch him jumping there. Just, doesn't quite get it, though. Dash attack finally going to take the stock at, like, 170. All right. I agree. I am excited to see what this character does in competitive. Oh. TJ Samarin got to watch that shield. You gotta watch himself barely living. Yeah, I feel like Sonic Blade is best used as a recovery tool. Um, it can be. Oh, you're dead from jab. Wow, he just got gentleman. Man is man is light. Man is light, and Robin jab is really strong. Robin gentleman is strong. <laughs> 